We are about five minutes from Qualcomm. We're going to go see the CEO for Qualcomm. Has been for a couple of years and a great partner to, to Volvo. Hey, Jim, welcome to Qualcomm. Good to see you. I this thought is I'd bring incredible. it personally. Come, uh, come deliver this personally. This is beautiful. It's really nice. Really and looks your tech good. And in the middle of that. I mean, it's great. It looks, looks beautiful. And I can't wait to see your technology in action. You want to jump in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spin? Let's go do it. OK. You know, if you think about it, we started this partnership in 2017. But we came a long way. This is incredible, especially when we think about this new computing space in the, in the, in the car. Yeah, and how quickly it's moving, as you say. I mean, the, the computational power that's in an automobile these days is uh, you know, compared to even five years ago, let alone 10. It, you know, what I really like about this transformation that is happening in the car, and I think you guys will be able to see it early on, the car is really becoming, as we talk about it, like a new computing space and you bring all this computing capability to the car. I think we're just at the beginning. The number of use cases that we'll be able to do leveraging Gen AI, it's really countless. And I, what, I, what is great about this, which is a new concept, and I think I, I, you guys have been talking about this, your car gets better yep. over time. You buy the car and you just get new capabilities and new features. If you go back to what happened to phones, the transition of the feature phones into the smartphone was because the phone became a computer, became yep. a personal computer. And I can build an incredible similarity when I look at the automotive uh, industry and the car is also becoming a computer. And I think that understanding on how um, phones change and incorporated not only every single product that happened from the consumer electronic, but because it started to be your computer when your experience is, we look of what we're building together and you can see exactly the same pattern. This is a very interesting design, I think, uh, for the dashboard. So now you can see the orange, that's telling you there's something, yeah. to, something to, you know, to behind you, so don't, you know, don't try and pull out. You can see you're green, you're good, that's, that's you on, you know, on the driver yeah, assist. and steering assist is active. And what I'm actually very happy to see, I expected nothing different, but how fast the response time is and the rendering and, and the computing capabilities. I think you guys really brought this to life. Everything's super, you know, you just see how quickly this renders up the time. There's no, there's no latency whatsoever. Of course, it's Snapdragon. <laughs> you know, it's there are very few companies that actually have the capability of translating all this computing power into a great experience when you are behind the wheel. You have to understand the experience behind the wheel, but also how you make uh, all the feature capabilities so seamless. And you do that with a very clean and interior, like the computing uh, is not overwhelming, no. I think, to the driver. So what do you think? I think it's incredible. And we, look, we work pretty hard on those technologies. We, I think we try to make the impossible, but Companies like uh, Volvo and what you guys are doing is how consumers can actually see what we have designed. Yeah. So it's pretty fantastic to experience firsthand what you guys doing and how you actually you bring our technology to life. Thank you. This was great. Uh, look, I think when we both retire, we can do car reviews on YouTube. I think, <laughs> I think this is a, you think that's this is a, a nice great life thing. Maybe, us? maybe. Okay. Uh -huh.